We're working with a game that consists of just drawing a card from a standard deck. Remember on a standard deck there are 52 cards, no jokers, and it says you will win $13 if you draw a king. And we're trying to determine the fair price of playing this game. In other words, when we talk about fair price, we're trying to talk about when our expected value is going to be zero. Okay. All right, so the fair price for playing this game, let's see. Well, we're going to win $13, so when we're dealing with expected value, it's always the amount that we're going to win or lose. In this case, we're going to win 13. Then what we're going to do is multiply that by the probability of winning that 13. Uh, so the, let's see, kings, there are four kings in the standard deck. So we're going to multiply 13 uh, times 4 divided by 52. There are 52 cards total, four of them are kings. This would give us a probability of getting a king right here. We multiply that by the amount of payout. In this case, it's $13. Then what we're going to do is, uh, there's going to be a cost for this game, so we're going to subtract out whatever it's going to cost us to do the game. That's what we don't know yet. That's our unknown. But our goal is to have this equal zero. Okay, well, in order for it to equal zero, what we're going to have to do is charge just the right amount. So that's what we're going to calculate right now. So 13 times 4 divided by 52, that would give us 52 divided by 52, which is just 1. So 1 minus the cost is, should equal zero. Now, if we can think of this here, we've got the cost. Um, it's a little bit different to think of cost. That's our unknown. And uh, when we're dealing with unknowns in algebra, we usually use an x. So if we can think about it in this terms, 1 minus x equals 0. Well, if 1 minus x is going to equal 0, if I want to get x all by itself, what I would do normally is just add x to both sides. So I'm going to add the cost here. We're going to do this, treat it exactly the same as we did our x here. But this, this one, we're going to add the costs, the cost, excuse me, onto both sides. So if we had the cost on both sides, we find out that the uh, correct cost would be one dollar. We should choose. We should charge one dollar to play this game. That would allow us to break even. Now, if we don't want to break even, if we want to make some money on it, then we're going to need to charge something larger than one dollar every time they play it, and that would give us um, a profit on this one. However much profit you want to make on it would work just fine.